Hello everyone, this is Namrata. Hope you all are doing good and staying safe. Today we will be covering one of the interesting Salesforce Chrome extension called as a Salesforce Inspector. Here is the agenda for today's session. We are going to cover what is Salesforce Inspector, what is the purpose of it, how can you install the extension to the Chrome browser, then we will get into our demo. Let's understand what is Salesforce Inspector. Salesforce Inspector is one of the most widely used development tool. It can be easily added as an extension to the Chrome browser. So let us see how you can add the Salesforce Inspector as an extension to the Chrome browser. Here is the link on how you can add it as an extension. I have already opened this link. Here you can see, let's remove it. So once you um, type the specific uh, Chrome extension link or type in the Salesforce Inspector in your Google Chrome, it will navigate to you navigate you to the specific page click on add to chrome once you click on add to chrome it will ask you whether you want to add this to the chrome extension click on add extension it will just take a couple of seconds and it will just give you a pop up on the right hand side saying that salesforce inspector has been added to your chrome browser once you add the salesforce inspector to your chrome browser you can open your you can log in into your dev or so i have already opened my dev let me refresh the sandbox. So using this Salesforce Inspector, once you install this Salesforce Inspector, you will be able to see it on the right hand side here. You see the Salesforce Inspector, right? As the name says, Inspector, which means it is mainly used to inspect the data or the metadata which is available in the uh, Salesforce. You can use this Salesforce Inspector to import the data. If you wanted to do any kind of an export, you can make use of this particular Salesforce Inspector. There are a lot of various things that you can do it using the Salesforce Inspector. Like if you wanted to know what and all are the org limits, that is something which you can do it using the um, Salesforce Inspector. You can download the entire metadata. You can explore the API and you can directly go to your setup uh, page from the Salesforce Inspector. This Salesforce inspector, when once whenever you try to do the inspection of the specific data, you can view the fields from the record detail page. So this is a tool which is most widely used by a lot of different admins um, uh, in your organization. It can be used by your developers. If you have the product owners, product owners will also be using the specific tool, which will be very helpful for them in order to do any kind of uh, user acceptance testing. If the product owner is involved in the testing, he will be able to view this it will help them and if you have some business users who are testing um, uh, your requirements end to end it can be used by them data analyst qa team so basically this salesforce inspector is can be used by a wide range of different personas using the salesforce inspector you can also know what is the field type if you have the field api name rather than going back to the salesforce setup from the salesforce inspector only you can know what is the field api name on the page layout, there are certain fields which could be hidden, right? So even that specific field, you can know from the Salesforce inspector rather than going back to the uh, setup or, you know, imagining what is the value that exists on that specific uh, field. You can use the Salesforce inspector to know what is available, what is the uh, value on that specific field. Now, let us see how you can make use of the Salesforce inspector. So here you see, let's navigate to the case field, case record. So I am on my case record. Now I wanted to view set of all the fields which are available on my case record. Right, these are all of the fields. So I, what I can also do is I can make use of this Salesforce data inspector. And I can, here you can see that objects, you can view all the objects. If I wanted to go and click on the account, show all data. Here you can see that what and all are the different fields which are available on the account object. It will be displayed. What is the field API name? What is the label? What is the data type? Whether it is a string, pick list, day, all the fields which are available on the account will be displayed here. And if at all you have any kind of relationships, that is also which is you can view it directly from the Salesforce inspector. And if you want to do, uh, yeah, let's go back. and click on the Salesforce Inspector. I just walked you to on how you can refer objects, right? And you can also go and 
check users. The current user is Namrata Sales Post at gmail.com. What is the role of that specific user? Uh, what is the profile? What language? And everything can be uh, viewed from the Salesforce inspector being on the same page. Now let's navigate to the objects. Here you it is it is now it is giving me the information that you are on the case object, case record. What is the ID of that specific record? Here, if you can see this ID and whatever is there on the browser, both are same. It will also give me the clear picture like what specific record page I'm using. When was this case created and when was this last modified? All that information can be viewed from the Salesforce inspector. Let's click on show all data. Here you can see all the list of uh, fields from the case object will be visible. Here you will be know it, it will tell me what is the type assert. If you wanted to make any changes, you can go ahead and make the changes from here as well. Let's take a look at the pick list value here. When you hover onto the pick list, right? Business unit, operations, uh, whatever it is, that specific, you can make that specific change directly. If you wanted to go ahead and make certain changes to this, this has been escalated. Home. Escalation. So if you can type, you can make the change directly from the uh, Salesforce inspector and you can quickly save the record as well. So here you can see the value is updated. Likewise, if you wanted to make any specific change, you can make the change. And if at all you would like to see what is the specific user, click on this and show all data. It will show me that the user is Namrata and what is the user record ID. Let's go back. Let's try to view a few others. Last modified by what is the record type. If you wanted to check what is the record type, click on this. Click on show all data record type. It will give me the record type is product support and what is the API name. Likewise, you can know the different types of, if at all there are any relationships, you can go ahead and um, uh, it will provide you the relationships as well. So that's how you can inspect all the data, all the data which is existing on that specific record. Now, if you want to navigate to your account record, you can do the same way as I was explaining earlier. Let's go to the account here. This is my SFDC one-stop account, right? Now, when I click on the Salesforce inspector, okay, sorry, see, it is giving me that it is a contact. What is the contact ID? Now, if I go to this account, try to inspect it, it will, it is giving me the account. What is the account ID? Click on show all data. It will display all the list of values, uh, fields from the account. What and all other uh, values present also it is. You can see it from the Salesforce inspector. If you wanted to do, yeah, as I mentioned, right? If you wanted to make any changes, you can do it directly from here. If at all you have access, you can definitely go ahead and do the change. Likewise, if you wanted to know what and all are the different org limits, you can very well go from the Salesforce inspector and find out what and all are the different org limits that are available. Here it is giving me the data storage is, I have already consumed the data storage. What is the file storage? All the different org limits, you can view it from the Salesforce inspector. So from without leaving the specific page, right? If you wanted to go to the setup, what you have to do, you always have to click on the setup, click on this and open the new page. Now being on being using this Salesforce inspector, when I click on the setup, it will directly navigate the same page will be, um, it will take me to my setup home page. If you have any explore API, it will give me all the details related to the API. So this is one of the most widely used uh, tool. It helps in such a way that you can, you know, easily inspect your data, easily in, uh, inspect uh, your metadata. Now you can also download the metadata. You see, these are all the metadata which exist in our in my org. So suppose if you want to download only the object or the workflows, you can click on it and you can download the metadata and the data will be stored in your local desktop. You can download uh, the metadata and then 
um, if somebody is asking you to provide the list of uh, fields which are available on the account object, you can directly go to the account here, click on show all data and copy all the list of values. You know, all of these is something which you can copy directly to your uh, either in the CSV format or in the Excel sheet. So you can directly do it, export all these things. Select the start. So this, this functionality I will walk you through in a while or we can take, we can do it in the next session. So yeah, we have covered everything. So what we will do is we'll try to cover this data export and data import in our next session. Until then, please do take care of yourself. Signing off yours, Namrata Kariyara.